Hello car buyers, I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the a very nice looking Subaru Legacy. Sleek, well designed, Japanese, extremely expensive when it was new. This is a 3 litre RN version, uh, Sport I think, or Sport R, something like that. Log book uh, to follow a bit later on in the video, we've got uh, all the details on model and spec etc but it does drive beautifully it's a very nice car to motor around in full automatic full leather heated seats beautiful three litre motor with a timing chain no cam belt to have to worry about 17 inch wheels nice metallic silver color with black full leather interior sat nav with uh, a few nice little toys on that as well um, I've driven this car for about uh, 25 30 miles and it drives absolutely beautifully it's just a fraction under 100k it's 99 975 so 25 miles to go before it tops the 100 and uh, locking wheel nuts which are the present with the key and a nice panoramic glass sunroof all the glass is good the uh, only things really to discuss is there's a bit of corrosion on some of the alloys that alloy there is a little bit corroded we've had such wet weather that this look a bit corroded but don't worry they'll rub off quite quickly the tyre on that one's going to need replacing fairly soon the shoulder is a little bit worn on the outer edge this one here is the best out of the alloys. The tyre is needing to be replaced fairly, relatively soon, but the alloy is in good order. Minor scuff just to the bumper there, but nothing much to worry about. There is a baggage cover, which we've got over there. Look, there's the baggage cover with all the carpet mats. It's had over mats on it, so it's kept all the carpets in really nice condition. High level brake light, rear spoiler, rear wash wiper. Very nice condition inside here. The load line has done its job well and protected it all. Um, I can't remember if there's a spare in there. Yeah, there's a little spare, never been on, with a toolkit in there as well. Um, yeah, very nice car indeed. I like driving this. It's uh, been a beautiful car to drive. There's a brand new spare on that one because that was below the legal limit, so I've replaced that. And a bit of corrosion on the wheel again there. And this probably this wheel is the worst in terms of corrosion. He's uh, got some corrosion on the outer edge. Not deflating the tyre though. And that tyre there is. A bit better than uh, a bit well, about half worn. Let's go for half worn. Scuff to the front bumper there. A few little minor chips to the leading edge of the bonnet. But I'm being a bit critical here with this car because I don't want you to waste your time coming to the seat. Hopefully to find something which is immaculate condition, which of course very few cars are at 100,000. But the drive of the car is absolutely spot on. So if you're really after something which drives really nicely, you can hear the engine purring over a treat there. I think I just heard the aircon clicking in as well. Um, Okay, so was there any other marks? I think there's a little bit of paint lifting off the edge, this, just here. There you go, you can just see a little a few marks, a little bit of paint just lifting off that rear spoiler. Again, nothing much to worry about. Yeah, I can hear the aircon clicking in and out, so that's good news. We'll go and have a look at the documents a moment. Okay, welcome to the documents then for this uh, Subaru Legacy 3 litre, showing just two keepers in total. But if we look here, we see Subaru is the previous keeper. Uh, registered the car on uh, the 21st of the 12th, 2004, and uh, the last change of ownership was 18th of the 8th, 2005. So I assume it was um, uh, probably a fleet vehicle, I would imagine, for its first year of its life, something along those lines. Uh, it shows, anyway, as a Subaru Legacy RN Auto estate petrol car, 3 litre, 234 grams per kilometre of CO2 output, so going to be a bit hefty on the tax I'd imagine so ask me if you're interested in that it's probably, uh, probably in the 270 region I would have thought the MOT is valid until March 27th 2013 two advisory notices mileage was 92 and a bit uh, 1000 miles, rear tyre close to the legal limit and exhaust system in need of attention at the rear joint whether that's been done or not uh, it seems to be, I can't hear any blowing from it but uh, MOT, a little bit on the short side, but uh, that's taking into the price. If you want it MOT for a year, I'm sure we can arrange that. Uh, there is a spare key there as well. And then the service book, as well as all the owner's manuals are present. Uh, all very nice to have. So what have we got? I did see a load of stamps here. So we've got Broadwell, uh, Bromwich, West Bromwich was the supply dealer when the PDI was done. And then I'll just sort of skip through here, see what we can find. Uh, there is an amendment here. Someone's just uh, put in a couple of um, entries. Uh, the uh, Subaru specialist who did the last few services. One at 80k and then another one at 91,000. That was in January 2012. 
then we've got nice uh, Subaru history here running through from 900 uh, just under a thousand to 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 53,000 and it goes into the specialist there Vale Auto Services 65k 78k uh, air pollen plugs, air filter pollen filter plugs, oils or brake fluids, minor annual front brake disc and pads, rear pads were done then as well. The so disc and pads on the front rear pads were done, it's 78k, uh, 2011 January. And then it goes on to uh, this amendment here then, so we go to 80k and then uh, to 91. And that was your dealer there. Fail Auto Services looks like a nice professional outfit. Let's put a, a um, an amendment in as well. So all the documents, the sat nav discs present, the spare keys, MOT as I say, March twenty seventh, and just two owners from new private keeper plus Subaru themselves. Okay, back to the car. Okay, we we'll start again then. So uh, into the rear, uh, I've had a phone call come in, so uh, just uh, interrupted me. So. Electric windows, nice hi-fi system, beautifully crafted and beautifully engineered leather seats. Expensive car, this new. The Japanese know how to build a good quality car for the winters over there, so it's all really nice in there. And uh, in terms of overall condition, that's absolutely spot on. Po map pockets in the back of the seats, cup holders, all the usual things. The front seats have got heated, heated front seats, and electric seats. Variable heated seats, centre armrest, cup holders, all looking very nice for itself in there. Four electric windows. I'll just jump in here a moment. So, this is beautiful, this sat nav system. It's got a really nice uh, bit of kit here. Full sat nav, touch screen, CD player, six changer CD player, full dual zone climate control aircon. Is it dual zone? Mm, no, it's just ordinary single zone but uh, that's probably no bad thing. Centre armrest, CD storage, Tiptronic auto box, I think it's a six speed auto box in this. Again passenger seat, nice condition. It's a really nice place to be inside here actually. It's got the cruise control, the fingertip hi-fi and the Momo steering wheel which is beautifully clean and tidy. Perky as you like, really nice 250 brake horsepower engine there. Blippable, sounds really nice. Electric windows are working fine, an arm system immobiliser, all that's working fine. We've got uh, full fogs. Um, I can't remember if there's Zenon headlights on this thing actually. I don't think it's got Zenons, but the cruise all works, I've used it all. all uh, very nice indeed. Puddle lights in the doors, this is a £25,000 car. This is electric sunroof, beautiful for the summer, or as they call it, a moonroof in Japan. Don't think it's got the Zenons. No, it hasn't got Zenons. Again, no bad thing really. Front fogs though, all work fine. But uh, there we go. Thanks very much for watching this video clip. Hope it's been some use to you, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.